everyone, WordPress can be easily customized according to your requirements due to its open source nature. From the looks of an element to how it behaves, everything can be customized in WordPress if you have the skills and knowledge on code snippets. But when it comes to WordPress, you must also know where and how to add the code snippets. Thus in today's video, let's take a look at how to add a code snippet to your WordPress site. I'm Aparna Singhdev from LearnWoo and let's get started. For adding a code snippet to the WordPress site, we will be using two different ways. First is by editing the functions.php using the WordPress theme editor and second is by using a plugin. Now let's start with the first method that is by editing the functions.php using the WordPress theme editor. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, appearance, theme file editor. Find and select the functions.php in the theme files panel on the left. In this method, we would take an example to hide the sale flash from the WooCommerce products on sale. Once functions.php is selected, go to the file content, scroll to the bottom. Now add the code snippet here to hide the sale flash from the WooCommerce products on sale. Once done, click update file. And now here in the front end, you can see that the sale flash is not displayed. You can notice the products still have sale prices, but no sale flash. Let's now move to the second method that is by using a plugin. For this, we will be using a plugin named the Code Snippets plugin. First install the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search Code Snippets. When the plugin appears, Click install and once installed, click activate. Once the plugin is activated, go to WordPress dashboard, snippets. Now click add new if you want to add a code snippet by typing or you can also import the code from the import option here. Since I prefer not importing it, I'll select the add new option. Now here enter the title, select whether it is in PHP file format or in HTML file format. Enter the code snippet here. We will be using the same code snippet that we used in the previous method. Now select where do you want to run the code. You get options like run snippets everywhere, only run in administration, only run on site front end, or only run once. I'll select the run snippet everywhere option. If you don't want it to run everywhere, you can accordingly select the option. Once that's done, you can select the priority of the code snippet from here. Enter the description, enter the tags. Now every tag can be separated with the comma symbol. Once done, click save changes and activate. Now your code is activated and saved. Now if you go to the front end, you can see the sale flash is removed. If you want to make any changes later, you can go back to WordPress dashboard snippets and all snippets and that's all this is how you can add code snippets to your wordpress site in two simple ways do let us know in the comment section which method worked for you the best if you like this video give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting more updates on more such videos thank you so much for watching i'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video